All right, well, let's check it out, man. So we'll start out at leg lit or um, come and set. Let's watch it go here. All right, so the first thing is this. When you're coming set, you're giving yourself way too much time to think. It's all driven by your brain, right? Every, every moment of performance is driven by your brain. If you give yourself too long and overthink it, now you're activating your prefrontal cortex, which is the part of your brain that's not gonna be responsible for your best athletic performance. That's your, your algebra brain. So what I wanna challenge you to do is, once you come set, Three, two, one, attack. You can see it's like a three, two, one, and then you almost have that extra moment of thought. Pitching is an out of control phenomenon, okay? So you're gonna have to trust that even though it's not gonna go perfect, you gotta see the target and let it fly. From a mechanics standpoint, things have definitely gotten better. To take it to the next level, we've gotta get more stable Okay, so we gotta we gotta create stability. I want you to watch this back foot. Sure. Okay, so you can see the back foot. We can also look at the back knee. We want to be able to keep this angle solid. All right, we really don't want the back knee drifting outside of this where it's at right now, or else we're going to lose our center of gravity before we even start to move. And you can see the back knee starts to drift right away. And then we get into, get into a little bit of trouble here because now as we start to move, you can see that all that's really happened is you've taken your energy straight down, whereas we want to be able to create a situation so that you're taking energy down into the ground at an angle and then redirecting that energy this way at the same time. So it's that ground force angle. You're getting a little bit more vertical than we need you to be. We need you to be more horizontal and that's going to require more strength in the medial quad and the medial glute for you to be able to pull this off and then just repping out your leg lift so that you can really own it all right so now as you start to move out you can see all right we're moving we're moving and actually similar to monty so now your back leg hasn't got the ability to really release and create enough energy for your lead leg. So now you've started to reach with your glove arm and your lead leg. Now as you come into landing, okay, you can see number one, this angle is borderline right here. I'm screwing that up. Hold on one second here. All right, we'd like that to be somewhere in closer to, oops, somewhere in closer to right here. You get the point. What were you we talking about yesterday? I'm working on drawing these angles with this app. Um, but we need it closer, we need, we need the hand closer to the ear, okay? Because right now we're just doing way too much with our feet and with our hand instead of with our shoulders and with our hips or with our elbows and our knees, however it's easiest to think about it. So you're now down into foot plant and this leg, this angle is already putting us into a challenge because now as we start to rotate, you're actually finally bearing weight here. And look, the front side, the upper half has already leaked open, okay? So the chest is already coming with the hips instead of the chest being able to be rotated back this way, all right? So now we're doing better with external rotation for sure. Check out the shoulder external rotation here. 
Looks much better. Figure these angles out eventually. But sell it right there. But you can just tell the the front side just looks weak. Okay, it's just gonna we get we've gotta have more strength. But again, that all starts back at how do we come set, right? How do we leverage the ground? It's like creating torque just like you would if you're gonna do uh, you know, like a a squat, but it's being able to get the medial quad and the medial glute engaged and to be able to create the strength to keep it engaged as we lift and move out into launch. Okay? And so as you head into launch, you can see that this lead leg angle is nowhere near what we're looking for. We, we really want it to be pretty close to straight. Okay? Whereas we've got this 90 degree bend right here, it's just not mirroring what these high level velocity guys are doing. And then you can see that this is also a concern from an injury standpoint, because we lose our pronation and now we're really yanking on the rotator cuff right there. That's a stressful moment for the rotator cuff, especially as you continue to gain velocity. So the point is this, dude, you've gotten a lot better. What we need to get better at is owning this leg lift, okay? So I'm gonna give you some uh, give you some drills for that, to work on that, the Oral Hershizer drill, and then just getting generally better at rotating. So you can use a medicine ball for this drill uh, called Southeast Slam. So those are the things I'd recommend. Great seeing you yesterday. Keep up the hard work, man. Sky's the limit.